Hi everybody, this is Dan Talk Sense, and today I'm going to be doing a review of four perfume parlour interpretations which have been recommended by you, the subscriber, and also my fellow YouTubers from the UK. In today's review, I'm going to give you my overall impressions of the four choices, and I'm going to tell you how close I feel they are to the real thing, and whether I think you should go out and get them in your next perfume parlour haul. So if that kind of contact would interest you, then please stay tuned. Welcome back. So just to give you a quick brief of Perfume Parlour, they're a UK based interpretation clone company um, who do designer and niche interpretations. And they're a good sort of gateway into buying the niche fragrances, which are um, quite expensive in a lot of cases. And um, I've bought a number of Perfume Parlour fragrances in the past. I've done some top 10, best and worst of the house. And there are some really good Perfume Parlour haul videos out there on YouTube. But I decided instead of doing a haul video, I decided to go on recommendations of the subscribers. Some of the comments I've read on some of the top 10 videos, people have said ones that they've used, which have been really good. And I decided to try four of the highest recommended ones. Um, so over the last two weeks, I've been wearing these in work and they, I've been getting a, a mixture of feedback and it prompted me to do this video today. I was under an hour in on whether to do the video because one of the fragrances I bought from Perfume Parlor is actually in my work drawer, but there's a good reason for that and I'll explain that at the end of the video. You may be able to hear the rain on the window of, of my house because it's quite fierce, the weather today in the UK. I was going to go out on the bike, but I don't think I will now because it is quite bad rain today. The first one that I bought um, was a fragrance called Forgiven, and this is their version of Nassimato Pardoned. Um, Pardon. Um, for me, this was okay, but out of the four that I bought, it wasn't one that really jumped out at me as a fragrance that I'll grab from the collection uh, and wear again. I think I'll use this for my diffuser in, in my house because the scent itself was okay. It's dark chocolate and magnolia, the top notes in this one, a bit of oud in there, but it was quite bland for me. Um, I have smelt... Um, Nosmata Pardon before and I think they do get it pretty spot on um, but for me it's it didn't really jump out as one if you're buying a load of fragrances from Perfume Parlour I don't think this would be in my top five or top ten of ones to buy but in saying that a, a decent smell but but not fantastic the next one that I bought from the house was their version of Killian's Black Phantom and all the things I'd read about this one um, in YouTube reviews, um, fellow YouTubers had said that with the version of Black Phantom, you have to let it, let it die down because when you first spray it on in the first hour, it's pretty rough and they are spot on with that assessment. I sprayed it on in the changing rooms at work and it was a number of notes um, coming together in a bit of a bit chaotic, a bit of a toxic uh, a toxic collision, shall I say, um, but once it dries down, it's really, really nice. You've got cardamom and you've got coffee in there, and it is really, really good. Like One of my uh, work colleagues, Hannah Smith, walked over to the printer and turned around and says, what are you wearing? And she was a fair distance from me, um, and she could smell it, um, the trail, and, um, and I told her what it was, what it's an interpretation of. So this does project, and it projected and performed throughout the day. With Perfume Parlour, some perform, some don't. Not all perform. This one definitely does. Really good projection and be perfect for the winter. Now, the next one I bought was their version of Aqua Palmer's Colonia Intense, and it's called Strong Mexican, their version is. Um, and for me, this sort of gave me a throwback to... Um, Boss Emotion, and if you remember that fragrance in the ball, that sort of was fresh oranges in the top. And I smelt Colonial Intensa a number of times, and my biggest gripe with um, Aqua de Palma is that they do not perform. Um, really shocking performance issues. I'm always seeing Aqua de Palma fragrances for sale in frag groups, and I think people just give up on them because performance isn't great. And I would say, without doubt, if you like Aqua de Palma, you have to go and get Perfume Parlour's interpretation because for me they get the scent about 90% close. 
um, but performance projection wise this beats the the real one hands down um, just smells of fresh oranges um, and sort of reminding me of midsummer humid watching um, Wimbledon the tennis competition um, and this, I don't really own too many summery fragrances I tend to go for the smokier winter ones but this was fantastic really really good performing fresh oranges um, really really nice interpretation of colonia intense now the fourth one that I bought was the one that impressed me the most and that's probably why I've kept it in my work drawer because I've been wearing it more than the, the other three and that was their version of Tobacco Vini and it's called Leaf Flavour. Now I've tried a number of interpretations of Tobacco Vini. There's one from El Haramein and it was Tobacco Tobacco Edition. Um, I didn't think too much to that one. I thought it was too much honey in that one. Pocket Sense is another UK based clone, clone house and they had done an interpretation of it but they'd done their twist on it and it smelled really nice tonka note in the one they did and I think theirs was slightly better blended than um, perfume parlors I tried leaf flavor from perfume parlor a number of years ago and I felt that they overdid it with the clove note but with this one I think it's really well balanced so I think that they might have listened to feedback from people when they've left comments and feedback and I think they might have tweaked their formula for leaf flavour because when I smelt it before it was really rough um, and the clove was too overpowering but they seem to have got it spot on and a comment from one of my co-workers Hannah said that um, she picked up on the vanilla straight away and says what are you wearing I can smell really nice vanilla um, and it made me feel good and I told her how much the real one costs and um, what impressed me most about this is is just how spot on they've got that vanilla it just smells prestige i always think that tobacco vanilla smells of expensive candles and they've really captured the essence of the real tobacco vanilla and for the price you're paying about five quid for 30 mils it's unbelievable value um, if you like tobacco vanilla 100 percent check out perfume parlor's version leaf flavor even if you put it in your top pocket and you can top up you might use it to top up the genuine tobacco vanilla but for me the best out of the four that i picked up today this is what i plan to do i'm going to look continue to read comments about um, perfume parlor and i'm going to go on subscribers recommendations if there are any of them from the house that you think i should try um, and you'd think they're really close to the real thing and they perform and project because that's the important thing to, to to me is if they perform and project let me know in the comments i will try four new ones um soon from the house and that's what i think i'm going to do if there are any other clone houses you think i should check out as well let me know in the comments down below if you are planning your next perfume parlor haul i hope this has been helpful i would definitely out of the four i would definitely pick their version of black phantom their version of colonial intense and also their version of tobacco vanilla pardon their version of pardon it smells good i'm going to use it in my house um for in my diffuser but on a, on a grabbing it to wear it didn't really stand out for me um unfortunately um but they're my honest uh, view on on those uh, interpretations by perfume parlor um i hope you enjoyed the video if you haven't subscribed already um, please hit the subscribe button um, um enjoy the rest of your weekend and i'll speak to you all very soon